What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Last break of the night, and this was the break that unlocks the break credit promo. So, in a separate video at the end of the night, we're going to randomize the list of customer names from all five breaks that sold out. And that'll be it, guys. Appreciate it. No, Carmonas. This is our last break of the night, man. We usually shut things off at 10, and I'm starting an optic break. It's going to take me an hour. <laughs> so, that'll be it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make Target anymore. My wife's going to kill me. All right, guys. Let's go. But I'll blame it on you guys. No worries. 12 box case break. Alright, let's rip open a couple boxes at a time. Baloney. I already bought the gifts, Carmonas. Just haven't bought the wrapping paper. And other stuff. So I already got the gifts. I'd rather not be original, Carmona. This is not who I am. Alright guys, Nick will be on live for about four hours tomorrow, so if Origins fills, he can break that for you tomorrow. Anything else that's close on the website, like best. <laughs> I don't know, TJ. You know me, Joe Pizzo. I rip packs like like, like no other. That's why ripping packs is my profession. It's all fun in games when... It's all fun, I mean, sorry, when you, when you can rip open a case of Flawless. But when, you come, when, it has to, when this is where the true breakers shine, is when they have to rip packs like this. Right? Everybody can break Transcendent. Flawless and T. See that nice and crisp. One, two, boom. One, two, boom. One, two, boom. So what's everybody's plans? Did anybody fly out to go visit family? Or is most of your family in the same state? Did you guys drive over, fly over? How's everybody spending the holidays if you celebrate Christmas? Or any holiday, I guess. Ooh. Patch Auto coming up. Another box, huh?
I know, I feel like wanting to do that, Tyler, but I think three or four at one time is good. It's actually not that many packs to rip. Or not too many cards to sort through. It's all good, Tyler. I'm just joking. I have time. I got time. Rebel says, God, I bought a few packs from Walmart today. One of them had those stick cards, and I thought it was super lucky. No, it was, it was, a, it was a blank. And it was a very deceiving Rebel. That's the thing, Tyler. It's, it's my birthday. Huh? You can't be mad at me. Nah, I think we'll be able to make it. There's one down the street from here, and she actually works here, so she's here with me right now. So, I think by the time I get done with all this, it'll be like 11 or 10.30, 10.40. I think they'll open until midnight, so we'll have plenty of time. So, what, you guys want to fill up the website then, or what? <laughs> I did not, Carmona, so what happened? Let's try to go one more. Put the multiple names together. That's not a good thing. Well, I'm glad they weren't at number one. Because if that would have happened, it would have been no problem, a uh, big problem. So now if the first name would have been at number one with the three names together or two names together, that would have been number one. Or I would have just split it half and half for them. I would have been a giver and gave both break credit codes if that was the case. Take it out of my check. <laughs> Joe Piz over here, uh, was, was over here advertising something. Come on, Joe Piz, will come break it. Redo it then, redo it. Are you saying in the list that uh, just because it came up four in a row for Mike, Michael Gallucci? It did have a lot of entries. Let's see, since we got time. But it doesn't matter though, they weren't at number one, so it's no, it's no redo. Also, that is not my dad, Carmonas. I think you're thinking of somebody else. <laughs> Joe Piz is my daddy. Yeah, he's my daddy. Where is it at? You're thinking of Nick, not me. Yeah, there's no glitch with that. My Gallucci being at number 29 to 32 doesn't mean anything. Just That just means that random.org put them together four times. He had about 20 orders. He had a ton of names, so that's probably why it came out that way. I thought you were saying there was like quotation marks. 
in a couple of these names like there was in the beginning of the randomizer. If your names came out together, that's just the way it was. All right, guys. Yeah, I know, Carmelo, but it has nothing to do with us. That's just how random.org decided to put you at randomizer number 10. Gardner Minshew to 150. You get me, then? That's because you had multiple entries, so for some reason, random.org wanted to put you together for two of your entries. It's happened before. So one time, one guy won, like, both great credit codes, and he only had two orders, and it was the top two, which is crazy. Devin Bush for the Steelers. Julian Edelman. And ooh, this is not, I actually like this one right here, guys. Look at that. Eight out of twenty-five. I don't think so. I mean, it may look like that, but again, that's that's not that's not our that's not like what we did it on purpose. That's random.org's thing, you know what I mean? I wouldn't even know how to rig anything. Yeah, go look at the video, Joe Pizzo. He's saying that that his names, his entries came back to back in, in, in the 10th, in the 10th uh, dice roll, but it's just like there's people with multiple entries. For some reason, that, that entry decided to go two in a row. I have no idea. Quinn Williams. Mike Gallucci's four would have came out one through four, then he would have won both break credit codes. Yeah, exactly. But uh, it's kind of weird, yeah. You know, that Mike Gallucci came out four in a row. For sure, but... That doesn't necessarily have to do with us. Four out of 199. Cleveland Farrell. TJ Leonard, what's going on? Were the Eagles just above the Cowboys back to back? <laughs> I don't know. Were they? <laughs> Watch my Eagles not take care of business on Sunday. Hey, TJ, check. Oh, what? Woo! Liam, who got the Raiders. It's a one of one. Wow. Jim Otto. Jersey Otto. Whew. Man. Look at that. That was a part of a team random as well. Jeez. All right, let's see. Merry Christmas to you too, TJ. Very nice. I have been pulling fire today. Wow, that's two one of one. Is this a hot box? Two one of ones in the same box. Will Greer, mythical this time for the Panthers. Going to John, who got the Panthers straight up. Wow. Look at that. Two one of ones. That would have been a great box to buy. A little Will Greer there to 150. All right, next box. Josh Allen to 299. Cameron Newton. Andy Dalton to 199. Daryl Henderson. That was a one on one hot box. Only pull those at Jaspies. Corey 
Corey Davis? Uh, yeah, because that's Le'Veon Bell's revenge game, if you will. Oh, he is early. Yeah, Let wrong color. But early in the second quarter, here we fell 10. Devlin Hodges airs it out for the end zone. Marcus May is there. Hodges will get pulled from the game. Carson Wentz. All right, next box. Tyler Rapp. Rashawn Gary, the 60. On card for the Green Bay Packers going to Charles. See Alexander. Another Carson once, this time to 150. Tyreek Hill. Bagno. Devin Bush. As I like to call them under Renfro's team. Raiders in the red zone. DeAndre Washington runs it in for five out. Renfro and the Raiders take a 21 to 7 lead. They go on to win it 24 17. Eastern Stick. And fourth box. Trace McSorley. Redemption. T.Y. Hill. Tom Brady. That's pretty good, crazy, right, TJ? Like, over here, everybody's like, what are the Seahawks going to do? They have no running backs, and Russell Wilson got to do it all himself. And then all of a sudden, within hours, you sign Marshawn Lynch and bring back Robert Turbin, probably. <laughs> and then you think of him as dangerous, even though Marshawn hasn't played in like two years. That's the crazy part. Three out of ten for the Jameis Winston and the Bucks. Kind of crazy. You have a brother in the second battalion. They're walking them to a trap. The orders are to deliver a message for a lot of people to perish. 299. Calvin Armour. I, I mean, hopefully this time they decide to run it, JR, because. They didn't run it like that. The second time they could have got a second Super Bowl. Hunter Renfro, Raider rookie autographs red. There you go. Oakland Raiders. How about the Raiders still being alive in the playoffs? Right? Isn't that crazy? Ten possibilities needed to happen for them to make the playoffs, and five of them already happened. 
0.4%. It's crazy. Rashad Penny's out for the season, unfortunately. He was having a great start to his sophomore season. Had to be placed on IR. I believe he... What happened to him? I forget what it was. Yeah, they're, all their three running backs are injured. Penny, Procise, and Chris Carson. Carson's the one that hurts him the most. That's, what, that's what's crazy is that they were down to... The fourth string running back, which is a rookie that they have in this draft class here, which is, uh, what's his name? Travis Homer, I believe. I don't know. I don't think they really wanted to go on play the 49ers with Travis Homer as the running back. Hey, that's how my Eagles been doing it for the last month or so. None of your top three receivers, no Deshaun Jackson, no Alshon Jeffrey, and no Aguilar. You're down to practice squad starter, wide receiver number one, Greg Ward. You got your fourth string wide receiver, J.J. Ortega Whiteside. And that's it. <laughs> it's literally the two, that's literally the two receivers you have on the, the Eagles have on their roster. And then, of course, they have Zach Ertz. Of course, I know he could be a number one receiver in a lot of places, but still a tight end. Then they got their rookie running back as Miles Sanders is the lead back. And an undrafted free agent second year, I believe, Boston Scott. So the Eagles could do it. So can the Seahawks. No, well, Zach Ertz, I think, probably broke a rib. He was out for, like, the first half of the Dallas game. Came back late in the season after a little couple of high injections. But, no, Goddard definitely stepped up yesterday, too. He's our second running tight end that we drafted last year in the second round. But, no, he's not injured. Zach Ertz got injured in last, yesterday's game, but he came back later in the game. Miss Gronk too, honestly. I don't. <laughs> I per se don't always want the Patriots to win, but Gronkowski could play a long, lengthy career. He can end up being like the best tight end ever. What's up, Andrew? What, you, what, what was that, Andrew?
Yeah, you know, Jimmy Graham hasn't really been who he has been with the Saints for a while, right? So that just goes to show. Well, I mean, that just goes to show you. I mean, I'm not saying Michael Thomas isn't talented, but man, I don't know if Michael Thomas would have 143 receptions if he wasn't playing for the Saints because Drew Brees just throws it to him. And that's the that's the most that's the crazy part, right? Is that I think getting a hundred receptions already tells you that they're the, that's the that's your number one receiver, and still after a hundred and forty receptions, you still don't co double coverage the guy. <laughs> like he still finds a way to get open. I think someone said this on ESPN or somewhere yesterday, saying is that obviously we're not trying to take away anything from Michael Thomas, but. If you're the defensive coach or defensive coordinator, uh, what happened? Because I think they said Michael Thomas has like 140 plus receptions. The next receiver or the next one with with the receiver with how many receptions is 25 or 28 receptions is your next receiver at number two. It's like, okay, so you're telling me that if we take away Michael Thomas, then nobody else can really catch the ball for, for, for the Saints? That's the crazy part. But again, Sean Payton's a genius and he runs plays to break down coverages. And, and it's also Drew Brees changing up the plays at the line of scrimmage to adapt to the coverages that they're giving him. So I guess they're, they're both very talented. You know? But that was kind of a shocking stat. I guess Graham did get paid and get a little lazy. I don't know. He's had concussion problems, right? So that also doesn't help. Maybe getting a little too afraid to get up and catch a ball and then get hit. But I don't blame him, though, man. Playing in the NFL is probably tough. Especially the beating and pounding that you get. Especially the tight end that you're blocking, catching, getting hit. Fishing dream. All right, well, welcome. I mean, you're pretty much catching us at our last break of the night. But we'll be live for a couple hours tomorrow. Do some more group breaks. Appreciate it. All right, next box, guys. Throw Henderson for the Rams. I was under Matheson at 199. And Jay Sternberger to 99. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You know what I mean? It's just, we all can understand that, but definitely not the same player. That's for sure. And you would think, like, Jimmy Graham, you think of him, you're like, wow. Big, huge tight end, huge target. You know, Rodgers could just throw it up to him. Oh, Andrew, what's up, man? Yeah, well, I'm a big Eagles fan, too. Actually, Bossman Mike was not here. He was uh, actually at the Raiders-Chargers game with another co-worker of ours, Teddy. And me and Nick were watching it here yesterday. I didn't really get to watch it fully in peace because I was breaking, but I was very happy with the outcome. But I know Cowboy fans around the world are very upset. And is this going to be it for Jason Garrett after this season? Is this finally it? Defy the laws of human nature of the season of 
And Kirk Cousins. And a 25. Well, that's one thing, JR. A lot of people don't think that football will be around in the next 50. I don't know about 20 years. I think 20 years will still be okay, but I don't know. Maybe 50 years? Will it still be around? I mean, I don't know, man. We keep on saying this. I even keep on saying this. It won't be around. And yet, the ratings and the sales of the NFL keep going up and up. So, I don't know. It's, it's, it's kind of like where we think it's not. And then all of a sudden, the money just keeps rolling in. So, I guess not. He's done. Saw the post. The, oh, man. Yeah. I don't know. I think it's time for a change. I think 10 years has been a little too long, don't you think? I mean... I think you guys should have got rid of him a while back. Jordan Scarlett. But I think him being Jerry Jones' boy, being a Dallas Cowboy quarterback. And, you know, I think that kind of kept him there for a while. Probably SKS. I wouldn't doubt it. What is Jason Garrett good at? Is he a defensive coordinator or is he offensive coordinator? I don't even know, honestly. I think he's offensive coordinator, obviously, since he was a quarterback, but... Probably. And I think DeMarco just signed with the Eagles because he didn't want he wanted to pay back for the Cowboys. That's all it was. I don't think he really wanted to play for us. I actually went to the game though, SKS back in 2015. I went to that game against the Cowboys in Dallas. I went with my couple of my Cowboy buddies. Got pretty drunk at the at the bars across the street. Saw the Eagles come back and win in, in an overtime with DeMarco Murray. And Sam, and Sam Bradford. That was fun. That was, that was a good game. But yeah, that year did not work out like we wanted. It's okay, because next year we drafted Wentz. And the year after that, won a Super Bowl. Well, yeah, even Jason Garrett or Jason or Jerry Jones says that he'll be co he'll be coaching somewhere next year, as in saying that if it's not with us, with somebody else, which I'm sure somebody will hire him as a coordinator. It's just it's just kind of like what does with Andy Reid, you know what I mean? Like I don't want the Eagles to fire Andy Reid. He's had so much success with the Eagles, but sometimes it's just, hey man, you know what? You give it a good 10, 12, 15 years and. We obviously don't want to let you go, but it's just kind of a need to renew scenery, you know? Andy Reid takes over as a Chiefs head coach and obviously hasn't won a Super Bowl yet, but turning around that franchise quickly, especially drafting Mahomes. Tyler Lockett. I honestly think SKS is if you guys fire Jason Garrett, I guarantee you, ooh, nice Miles Sanders Silver. Hollow. Uh, you guys uh, will go get, like, Urban Meyer. You guys will convince Urban Meyer of coming out of retirement. Getting, like, a coach like that. Or who knows, maybe Josh McDaniels finally wants to be a head coach and takes that Cowboys job. You know what I mean? That'd be very scary, but watch something like that happen. Because regardless, Dallas Cowboys are always a desirable team by fans and players. and You know, Rob Riggles is going to go to the Chiefs. I wouldn't doubt it. So Paul Barkley. Yes, fishing dream. We don't do this as a hobby. Uh, well, it is a hobby, but we also are a retail store. And this is what we do. We do group breaks as our business. So all those customers that are chatting have bought spots in this box case break. And some of these cards will be there. Some of them will be other other per, uh, customers' cards. Ooh, Jim Harbaugh, imagine. I like Jim Harbaugh. I don't know. I don't want to talk about this Cowboys coaching job because 
Hey, get a good coach. <laughs> That's going to be tougher for us in the future. Well, I heard someone saying, who, what did someone say? Ron Rivera was going to get hired somewhere soon? Ooh, we got a downtown, and it's Andrew Luck. Very nice. Colts going to Christopher. <laughs> Kitchens to God. <laughs> trash for trash. That's funny. Thank you, Fishy Dream. We don't really do anything for getting us certain subscribers, but we appreciate it. Don't you put that on me. You are not paralyzed. I am so paralyzed. <laughs> that movie man is such a classic. If you guys ever come to our shop, I'll give you guys a uh, give you guys a a little cool little fact. You guys ever use our restroom? You'll notice either uh, going to to the stall up into the toilet. You'll notice this huge Ricky Bobby poster of like him like this. And it's like saying, if it ain't first, you're last. <laughs> it's such a cool one. Last time Mike's had that since like the release of the movie, and he framed it or bought it framed. I don't know what it was, but yeah. So I see Ricky Bobby every time I go to the restroom. No big deal. Fifty-four out of one ninety-nine. JJ Ortega Whiteside at ninety-nine. Very nice. Philadelphia Eagles. Richard. Yeah, we'll definitely need to see that Kyler, Tyler. Guys, four boxes left. Alright guys, so remember, Nick will be going live tomorrow, like around 12 Pacific, to about 4 for like a couple hours, half a day. Again, for some last minute gift shoppers here in our store, we're opening at 11, closing at 4.30 I believe, and then streaming online from 12 to 4, so if there's any other group breaks that are close, he'll be able to break them for you tomorrow, and then we're off on Wednesday for Christmas Day. Back on the 26th. Now, I don't believe it. I don't know if it's going to be Joe streaming on the 26th or it's going to be Nick, but I believe somebody will be. And I know for sure Friday, I think, and Saturday will be Joe back to normal. And I'll be back next Sunday, Monday. And I believe Nick will probably be streaming for a couple hours on the 31st. And then same schedule there. No first, but back on Tuesday or back on Thursday, the 2nd, and Friday, the 3rd. But we appreciate you guys buying with us, guys, throughout this year. And hopefully you guys have a nice, happy holidays. Again, thank you especially for breaking with me on Sundays and Mondays.
No, my finger right here. Look at this right here. Working. I know, FKS. I did too, but I, it's already kind of late. and I don't think any orders are coming in. So. Just Nick will be able to do it tomorrow. I think it'll go tomorrow, though, for sure. How quick do you want this break to go, Joe Pizzo? It's about a 45 minute to an hour break. Damn. 12 box break. I'm actually at 44 minutes to be exact. Guys, last four boxes right here. Hollow, Damian Harris. Trayvon Mullen Jr. Josh Jacobs.
you know, where a couple of years ago I was uh, here leaving the field after breaking my collarbone. Uh, feels pretty good. Uh, that was one of our goals, was to win the division, but I think there's more out there for the football team. And, and Jameis. I'm not going to get into this Kirk Cousins on Monday night thing and all this stuff. Uh, offensively, we didn't play as well as we can play out. What do you mean, Joe Pizzo? And defensively, we can play run better. So, Mariota? A lot of things that we need to clean up. With this victory, the Packers clinched the division for the first time since 2016. But the sixth time since Aaron Rodgers became the starting quarterback for the Packers in 2008. Kenny Galladay? What a case. Three one of ones, and it's a one of one Jonathan Abrams for the Oakland Raiders. That's going to go good with your Jim Otto, Liam. Man. I actually really like this rookie. Hits a little too hard, though. Man. Xbox. So trash. So trash. Bobby White. I want more trash. I want it filthy up in here. Number 35, Joe Juan Williams. Patriots. Going to John. You do some shoes too. There's a beanie variation? Are you serious? <laughs> I didn't realize there was a beanie variation. Great arms to Tyler Rapp. I'm gonna put that on the eBay on your eBay listing beanie variation. Super 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 sharp print. Deontay Johnson. <laughs> exactly. What, what, what? What, <laughs> what is he saying? Simmons. All right, two boxes to go. Calvin Harmon. Sean Murphy bunting. Bunting. Benny Snow. Oh man, I'm gonna watch Semi Pro one of these days too. I might watch it when I'm in Vegas. Honestly, Semi Pro, man, it's such a classic. Man, I love that movie. I dressed up as a Jackie Moon one year for Halloween. I had to. It was just, it was just like the best. Do you want to love a sex? <laughs> song is so funny. <laughs> Um, <laughs> what did he say? He goes, I've never thrown up before. 
the local PBS station wanted to do a documentary on me. Wow, what a break for the Raiders. Josh Jacobs, 32 out of 50. Damn. Benny Snell Jr. Some of them in greater detail, or all of them, frankly, to try to paint the picture of what is still in play. Week 17. Rock Yasin. Specific relating to the NFC as we continue on Sports Center. Winning locker room is nah. a good one. It's 99. Including days off. And what went wrong for Minnesota? It's the first time we've seen yet. All right, guys, last box. And, yep. What do you mean, rap, Carmonis? Julio? Julio Jones? Stidham? <laughs> the nickname right now. Baker Mayfield. There's a Julio. And it's 7 out of 10. Are you, are you looking at the future? Carmonis? Look at that. There's a Julio. Man. Seeing the future. Julio Jones. This one's gold out of 10. 7 out of 10. Look at that. Seeing the future. Man. That is very sorcery. Jalen Hurd. Aaron Rodgers. Champ is here. The champ is here. Marcus Cannon. Seems like a cool insert. Thought it was number. AJ Brown having a great rookie season. Titans going to Chris Parent. And what do we have? I'm going to pull an autograph yet, right? Out of this box just yet? Four out of ten, Von Miller. Denver Broncos. That's Justice Hill, eight out of twenty five. A numbered one, Carmonas? I don't know if I skipped the numbered one. I think I seen one similar to that, but I don't think it was numbered. But I'll double check. Braden Cooks a 99 it or what? <laughs> it's, it's crazy how that's still talked about today, right? Here it is. Not numbered. But I can pass it for you, man. No worries. Very similar, though. Just not numbered. All right, folks, and there you go. Brady Cooks 99. No, it was uh, Justice Hill. This was the last auto right here. I'll go through a little recap. It was Justice Hill for the Ravens. All right, guys. Well, there you go. Thanks for breaking with me. 
as always. And let's do a little hit recap. So here were some cards that will be top loading. Numbered cards, silvers, inserts that are pretty nice. We have a lot of them, as you can see. So if you didn't get any autographs, guys, you probably got some nice numbered cards since there's only one autograph per box. But what a case, guys. Really, honestly, this is probably one of the better cases I've seen. Justice Hill Ravens out of 25. Julio Jones Mythical to 10. Got Josh Jacobs to 50. Joe Juan Williams, Beanie Edition, of course. A one of one Jonathan Abrams, which is awesome. How about a one of one Jersey Auto of Jim Otto Raiders? JJ Ortega Whiteside, Miko Harmon, Jordan Scarlett, Jay Sternberger, Hunter Renfro, Oakland Raiders, Redemption Red, Rashad Gary, Devin Bush, and a Will Greer one of one. What a case. There you go, guys. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. And again, this randomizer or this these customers in this break here will be put in a randomizer to hopefully have a chance to win some break credit in a separate video, guys. Appreciate it.